Hey, dork. What? Why'd you play in there? Pixel Rick 1995. Is that Pixel Rick a dot to the future? Yes. Ha, I beat that game like a gazillion times. Cough, Ginge. You know they're gonna I can say that because I'm Ginger. Greetings, friends, and welcome to this week's episode of Ian's VR Corner, in which I have taken a trip back in time to the year 1995 to check out Pixel Ripped 1995 on the Oculus Rift. Now, two years ago, I played the first game in the Pixel Ripped series, Pixel Ripped 1989, and I played that on the PlayStation VR. This is the sequel. It is set six years into the future, and it is also set two years before my birth, although I have used my well-known time travel powers to visit 1995 in the past, so I'm very familiar with the types of games this game will be pixel ripping off in its gameplay. <laughs> see what I did there? Right, let's start a new game and see what it's all about. Oh, I recognise this Game Boy-esque living room. This is the place where Pixel Rick 1989 started. Now, you might be able to see uh, in my hands here, I'm holding two Oculus Touch controllers. In the PlayStation version of Pixel Rip 1989, it used the light bar on the PlayStation controller to accurately, um, like, make it feel like you were accurately holding a controller in your hand, because you actually were. Um, in this game, I did try using a uh, Xbox controller, which does it does work, but your hands are just locked into space. So uh, I think I'm going to keep using the Oculus Touch controller, so I have a little bit more fidelity with the movement of my hands and stuff. Um, oh, I love what they've done with the place since uh, I was last here. This looks a lot cleaner and clearer and easier to see a, a smaller screen in VR. In the PlayStation version, um, I did get a little bit of a headache and it did seem a little bit out of focus uh, concentrating on such a small screen in front of me, but so far um, it seems like a lot easier to focus on the action on this little screen here. Uh-oh. Seems like something bad might be about to happen. Sibling Lord, ha ha ha, did you really think it would be that easy? I have all of eternity to destroy you and I'll enjoy every second of it. Oh, oh yeah, there goes the roof of my house again. Oh, no, this is different. I don't remember the house slowly floating away in the last game. Oh, God. You're quite a, a pixely pal, aren't you? Shit. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, it's the master again. Hello, master. Oh, this is a cool little Game Boy-esque RPG hub world. Our time machine is ready, but these, those hoops refuse to light up. Maybe you could find a way to power them up. Well, I'm very good at making time machines work, that's for sure. Close your right fist to use your laser gun. Oh, here we go, look. So using the uh, touch controllers seems to be the way to go in this one. Oh, we've got to the 1995. Look at that, it's colours. Oh, it's like I'm in... Oh, I'd love to play an RPG VR. A VR version of Secret of Mana. Oh, my God. VR version of Zelda. Link to the past. Oh, it's possible. This shows it's possible. Ooh. Oh, shit. Look at me. I'm all grown up. Nice. Fully articulated arms. Ooh. New armor. Nice. Ooh. Ah, new helmet. Very Metroid-esque. I like it. Pop. Oh, yeah. I'm looking... I'm looking hot. How do I look, dude? You are looking much more presentable. Nice. Now it's time to prepare for Sibling Lord's attack. You're powerful on your own. But the help from a skilled player could make you unstoppable. Go ahead, Dodge. Use your bracelet to find the best player from 1995. Yeah, so in Pixar 1989... Uh, it was a young schoolgirl, I remember. Um, I can't remember her name, but... Um, I wonder. It will probably be someone different this time. Best player found. Shuri Yoshida. <laughs> nice. Okay, we have established a sink with 1995. And, oh, it's floating. Hmm. Ooh. Oh, my living room looks much cooler now as well. 
Well, 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 these pyjamas are sure snazzy. They're definitely very 90s, as is this giant CRT uh, TV here connected to um, a power system, which is basically, I guess, a mix between a Super Nintendo and a Mega Drive. We've got some uh, cool little nods to video games there. Street Puncher and Rad Raccoon 3. Uh, we've also got some potatoes. Once you plop, you just keep plopping. And uh, we've also got Pixel Ripped. A dot to the future. Let's uh, let's give. Oh, who's that outside? What are you doing in my garden? Piss off! Let's get this going and see what the game is like. Mecha Policeman 2. I'd quite like to play Mecha Policeman 2. Do I have to? Oh, there we go. I have to turn it on as well. Pixel Rip to dot to the future. New game, please. So in the last game, we had to keep playing games while avoiding being hey. caught. Hey, George. What? what you play in there? Pixel Rip 1995? Dickhead? Is that Pixel Rip a dot to the future? Yes. Huh. I beat that game like a gazillion times. Fuck off, Ginge. You know they're gonna I can say that because I'm Ginger. Oh. Hi, mom. Sorry I'm late. The open house took way too long. It's fine, it's fine. Dad, he should be back by now. Oh, hey there, Mike. Tell Hi, Mike Mrs. to King. go away. David! Seriously? David! Day has David! Right, well... Good, they're all clearing off so I can start playing my game. Actually, can I have a cookie? Oh, look at Mike playing outside. <laughs> Doesn't he look happy? Playing outside. Far of a town. A Home to a hero dot. I like to come here to reflect. <laughs> oh. A little privacy here, please. Oh, they're, they're necking behind the trees. All right, well, let's follow these dots and see what's what. What's that there? I've just... Do you reckon that's the spawn point? Kashinya Woods. Beware the killer bugs. All right. There's one. Let's mess them up. So, yeah, this is, um, this is running really well. A lot easier to see the action on, on this screen than it was on the PSVR version, which is nice. The PSVR, the PSVR version for this game comes out um, a little bit later down the line. I'm not 100% sure when, but it is on the way if you don't have access to PC VR. What are you talking about? Ow! Oh no, I lost all my dots. Well, I can't believe it. That little shit put me off my game. It's, it's quite a cool little time travel device, this game. Obviously, I didn't live in a cartoon land when I was a child, although some people may say that I did. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like, the whole sitting in front of a, a TV on the floor with a controller in my hand playing Zelda-like RPGs is... Uh, Definitely something I did back in the day. Pixar 1989. It started off with like some platforming style games rather than this top down RPG action RPG style, but this is kind of in in keeping with the uh, the games of the day, I guess. Whereas 1989 was based on like 8 bit platformers and Game Boy platformers. I wonder what other styles of games they'll have in this. Ow! No. I presume the dots here act like Sonic's rings. Where if you get hit, you lose your dots. And if you keep getting hit after you've lost your dots, then you die. That's what I'm going to guess. I'm going to try not to do a die, though. Ah! Oh, I got hit by a massive logger. What's this? Ooh! What? Yes, Mum! I'm sorry, Isabella. I'm going to have to call you back. Okay, David, time's up. Ooh. Do I need to force you to turn that thing off? No. Mama, it's the TV just shot out a gun. That, that's it. I'm sorry, but I need to protect you. How did that... Well oh, done, you stra distracted mess. the grown-up human. Oops. So you've got to concentrate on the game and also concentrate on distracting the people... Ah! Trying to stop you from playing the game. So... It adds a little bit of 
extra challenge to the proceedings. There we go. That messed up your fridge, Mom. Dot, you're finally here. There's still no sign of Sidlin Lord, but he could arrive at any moment. I fear he'll attempt to break into the Pixel Temple and steal the Pixel Stone. Oh no, is it an S? Better not be an escort mission. Oh, that's close. Here we go. What's this say? Angu River, do not litter. West, Guardian's Cave. What are you saying? If you climb this cliff, you'll reach the beautiful RC Mountains. Too bad you can't jump. Shut up, Mom. Did this come from? There we go. I'm sorry, but I'd get more told off for shooting guns at things in the house than I would for playing video games. There's a lot of... Dad? I thought you'd left us, Dad. He was off, he was off banging the neighbour, I reckon. Is that a Christmas tree? What? What? Best tree of the lot. He had to rush and get it because he was uh, too busy having an extra marital affair somewhere. Listen, stop having a domestic in front of me. This is going to severely impact my emotional growth as I get older. Shit tree. Shit dad. I'm going to shoot my mom in the ass. What was that? Who knows? Who knows? Oh my god. OMG. Ah. Okay, we've suddenly got... Quite a busy room. Combat-wise, it's not the most taxing of games. You've just got to be good at avoiding things, which I am not. No! I'm absolutely trashing your house and in the butt. What's Dad doing? Why are you hanging tomatoes on the Christmas tree, Dad? I don't know this is only the first level, but there doesn't seem to be as much threat from my mum and my dad as I found there was from the teacher Hi, uh, in the school in Pixar yes, at 1989. Okay. Sneaking down here. Mum! Oh. Oh, my God. David? I'm sorry, Mum. That was... You're out of control. No! No, don't! No, I didn't mean to shoot you there! Oh, Mum! Uh, you go over Hello, Mr. Anderson. Okay. Fuck. How are you doing? Ow. Okay. I missed. I got through. Wait, David, the video game is still on? No. I'm sorry. I have to go. I'll call you back. I'm trying to... What? Oh, there we go. Darn it. What's that? Right. Managed to distract my mum again by messing up the Christmas tree. And the stereo at the same time. Fine. Yeah, it's definitely getting a little bit more hectic to avoid things right now. Hey, honey, where are the rest of the decorations? The expensive ones? They're locked in the closet upstairs. Oh, why are they locked? Ow. I'll go get them for you. Oh, wait, I, I can help. Oh, yeah. Up. You're going upstairs to the... To the... To the loft, huh? To the attic. To the attic. It's time for some mummy and daddy time up there. What would make this much more realistic right now is if we suddenly started hearing the bed springs going from upstairs. That would make it a very realistic, awkward 90s childhood in front of a games console, let me tell you. My, what a nice cube you have. Ha 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 ha! Oh, my poor naive dot. What? Oh no! It was the sibling lord all along! You bastard! How dare you! You were never a sharp one, but that was shamefully easy. While you were escorting me straight to the pixel stone, I was keeping your dear master as my prisoner. What? Twist! Oh shoot, son. Beware, Dot! Sibling lord has the power of the pixel stone now. Oh! My cart's going a bit bonkers. What the? What's happening? Oh my god! The video game! It is alive! Wait. I can't shoot. Oh! So the whole living room now is slowly transforming into some kind of video game battleground. Oh, alright. We're. Whoa! Okay, now we're controlling Dot. 
in the living room. What I um, quite like about this whole controller setup here is the fact that ow, you have to like kind of take your hands off the controller to pick up the gun to do stuff. So it's kind of like um, actually having to hold a controller and interrupt your games in real life. Nice bit of circle strafing. Oh, oh, okay, here we go. This is this is where we need the gun for. Starting getting a bit like Rampage, isn't it? Oh, God! My butt! I've only got one dot left. This weird insect fool's not got too much health left, though, but I guess he's going to start jumping up again in a sec. Whoa! 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 Yeah, gun time. Eat laser, fool! Oh, my cartridge. It's buggered. No, our game cartridge. It is ruined! Kidnapping, identity theft, and now this. 1995 games have much darker plots than we're used to. Come on, Doc. We need to strategize. 1995 plots in video games did get kind of dark, actually. Chapter 1 cleared! Woo! Honk honk! Ooh. Well, that's level 1 done and dusted, and now I'm in Glitchland, USA. Oh, our poor far overland. Pa far overland? Far overland. Far off a land? Frivolent. Our poor frivolent. The damage is worse than I imagined. I love retro aesthetic in VR. It's so cool. Player should be on his way to the video rental store. Go dot. Help him retrieve a new cartridge. Oh wow. Oh nice. Oh look who's here. Oh fuck Come to ask off. Can I help you door? Hi, Mr. Keen. Hey, Mike. What's crack a lackin'? Oh my God, my dad's cool such a nerd. Fly, you know. Cool, cool. Same here. Wow. Isn't that the game you were looking for, David? Yes. What? But you were just playing this at your house. What yeah. happened? Your cartridge ran away to find a better player. Oh, <laughs> zing! Wow. You are. Where's that gun gone? Well, if you want it so much. Maybe we can make things more interesting. All right, yes, mommy bastard. Rat game over here? Yes. We're supposed to find seven diamonds to beat it, but I just found a secret eighth diamond that no one knew about. Oh. If you can find it too, I'll let you rent my copy. Good luck, dork. I'd rather play the turbo drive, mate. No. Turbo drive's not working. So that's. All right, so this is quite a familiar sight from the 90s. You don't really get this anymore. A twin display of Mega Drive and Super Nintendo. I mean, Mega Drive and Super Nintendo. Uh, it's basically like being an old blockbuster or something in a, in a shopping precinct. It's pretty cool. All right, Rad Raccoon 3, press A to start. Oh, this is like Zool. I don't know if any of you remember Zool on the Amiga. I time traveled back to play that a while ago, that's for sure. So we've got platformy now. Maybe a little bit more action-packed. That top-down level well, is kind of cool, but I did find the combat a bit monotonous. Who's this guy? What's up, dude? Did you come here looking for the Daring Diamonds too? Sweet! I'm down with some friendly competition. Let's roll. Oh, nice. Now there's a little bit of a, an homage to Sonic as well. Bees! So this is mashing a whole load of different 90s games. Zool, Sonic. I've searched this game's code and there is no secret 8th diamond. Which means that child was lying! What kind of sad person lies about what they achieved in a game? But if the boy wants to cheat, then so shall we. Do you see that dark console to the player's right? If you hop into that game, you can take the items from there and bring them here. Press A to start. So this is a more gritty game. What? Where did you come from? I'm in the middle of a journey to find the legendary Bionite Crystal. It may look like a simple diamond, but it's our last hope to defeat the alien mutants. Now beat it, kid! I don't have time to look after a wimp like you. Oh, God. Oh, he died. So this has kind of got like a Metroid Super Probotector kind of feel to it at the moment. Maybe more Metroid, judging by what's going on up here. How can I get those? Yeah, definitely Metroid. Oh, look at that Xenomorph rip-off alien. There was so many Xenomorph rip-off alien monsters in video games back in the 90s. What's that? I picked up a power-up. That's a, a bomb. Oh, okay. So now if I go here, fire the bombs. Okay, that makes sense. I shouldn't be telling you this, but I was the first to play it, you know. I had a 
This is a ginger twat. What have we got here? Umbrella. Okay, that allows me to fall a bit slower. I don't know how that's going to benefit me unless I go here. Do I still have the umbrella power? Seems no. Okay, umbrella power. And then... There we go. That's a neat idea, swapping uh, between consoles. Taking bits of each game with me. Take that, Alien. So yeah, now it's kind of like Alien 3 on the Super Nintendo with those Xenomorphs. Eat shit, Alien noob. So what, can I take the flamethrower back this way and use it on anything? There we go, yeah, I melted the marshmallow away. Good. God, those little kids are bullying the shit out of him. Okay. Smash that muffin. Muffin launched. Oh, that's a... That's a um, uh, what is it? Earthworm Jim reference, I believe. Cow launched reference. Okay, I need the bombs again. So, grab the bombs. Grab the SNES controller. I mean the power system controller. What did I just get there? Bubbles? Ah, okay. So, bubbles now. Get me up there. Oh, God. I'm losing a lot of my health on these acid drips. Ooh. Hey, hello. What's through the here? A secret room? Nice. Hi, Cedric. Die, Dracula! Oh, now it's gone Castlevania. Wait, where am I? Oh, hello, my lady. My name is Cedric Vane Helsum. Oh, shit, help me with the aliens, you whip-wielding wanker. So it seems to be like there's less external stuff going on in this game than there was in the first one. It's way more about what happens inside the video game. I've got five diamonds so far. Six now. Oh, I need more flames. Okay, how can I get across here without burning? I don't think I can, so... Oh, no. I guess I need to go back and get a bubble, then. Where's the bubbles? Where's the bubbles? Here's the bubbles. The bubbles! They do not have oh, shit! Nothing. <gasps> Fuck. Is there a flame power up anywhere here? Oh, here we go. Look. I was doing it all wrong. Nice. Screw you, you marshmallows. Screw you, you little marshmallow fellow. Eat my bullets. In your face, cupcake. If I get that umbrella... Is the uh, umbrella going to allow me to get over this gap? Yes, it is. And there's a flamethrower. So now I go back here. Burn the mellows! Now I need a bomb to get past this... Ow, fuck. Oh, I need the umbrella now. Oh, we're doing a lot of, lot of hop, skipping and jumping between games now. So we get that. We go here. We... Oh, umbrella our way down and miss most of the bits. Not all of them. What's this? Hello. Great work, Tap! This crystal will surely fool that little brat. Now hurry. Take the fake diamond to the other game. Nice. Got the fake diamond. Now, use this fire to blow that up. Grab the bomb. Back into this game. And bomb these loop-de-loops. Oh, I love it when a plan comes together. Wow, look at all those diamonds! You got mad skills, dude. What? But there were only seven. I mean, oh wow. Aha. Uh -huh. Found it. Up Great. yours, dickhead. But I found it first, so you're still. Get your shit-eating grin out of my face, you Here, ginger you twazzock. Old game. Thank you. I didn't even want it that much. Good. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, you oh. got your game. I did. Let me take that for you. Thanks, Dad, you dopey little asshole. Look at the way he walks. What an embarrassment. Oh, my God, my dad's such a knob. Look, champ, we got this uh, Whoa. thing. It's a, an, an a 3D add -on. multiplier it's X. It's supposed to enhance the graphics of your um, uh, power system. Well, he said you could even play some 3D games with Whoa, this. Whoa, uh, that's yeah. awesome. Oh, you can look at it in the car. Now we got to hurry. We still need to stop at the supermarket before we head home. All right, well, you might be a bit oh, of an embarrassment, but games and still no flying cars. he seems like quite a cool dad if he's going to let me play games. What are we doing now? Oh, we got everything to make your mom's banana bread. Why, I mean, <laughs> She's still the back of a car. <laughs> Bloody heck, that monster followed us into the human world. Oh, I knew we should not have tinkered with those game worlds. Oh, okay, this is kind of interesting. Listen up, Fact. I've written a poem. <laughs> Okay. Oh, we've got aliens dig, riding motorbikes. He digs, he digs, Don't dig. Oh, it's ro Road Rash. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's a kind of like a bit of a basic Road Rash. Oops. But it's it's Road Rash nonetheless. This nerd in the background. Ow. Can I hit him with bananas? Is that how I damage him? Yeah, bananas damage him. So I've got a Avoid the rockets with Dot and lay down a trail of murder nanas. That car and the driver is reminiscent to me of the old driving game Power Drift. I wonder if that's where the inspiration came from. I need to pick up some Dots, otherwise I'm screwed. There we go, I've got one. Oh, wrist missiles! I don't think these gingerbread men actually hit you. I think they just there to confuse you while rockets are being fired at you. Hey, do you know why skeletons never go trick-or-treating? Because what? they have no body to go with. Ha ha ha! It's like kind of my caliber of jokes. Now I know how Eva and Zoe well, feel. Okay. <laughs> Eat my car, Nana, nerd. There we go. I think I got him. Boom! Yeah! High five! Right. Chapter 2 finished. Alright, well I think I'll leave it there. I think we've seen enough of Pixel Rip tonight in 95. Uh, for you lot to make up your minds whether or not you want it in your collection. It seems pretty cool. Uh, the gameplay in it is rather basic. It's not that challenging. It does feel a little bit clunky. Um, but I love it is a beautiful love letter to the games and the times and the experiences of 1995. Um, I like the attention to detail in the video games and how there's all little Easter eggs and references here and there. The way the video game world comes into the real world is also very imaginatively done. Um, and yeah, I think it's I definitely think it's one that's worth picking up, if especially. If you enjoyed Pixar Ripped 1989, it's not too different to that. It doesn't add too much to the experience so far, but um, it is just another really lovingly made tribute to video game times gone by. And I really appreciate that. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to playing more of this later on once I've edited this episode of Ian's VR Corner. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, do give it a like, do subscribe and do check out some of the other videos that are on screen now. They're all about VR. There's even a playlist there with a full playthrough of Half-Life Alex for those of you who've never been able to um, play the game yourselves because you don't have PC VR. So isn't that nice? Yes, it is. Thanks for watching. Bye. Right, I'm going to continue my game now.